What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and it's time to stop Marchenko. So I'd almost taken him out already. I was uh, going around doing all the security stuff, you know, taking control of the... Uh, taking control of the... the... what are they called? The fucking flying turrets, taking control of the regular turrets, all that shit. And I found a key card reader while I was doing all that. Uh, basically, hit that, it opened the door behind me, went through that door, and it turned out that put me all the way back uh, where I rescued the delegates. So, at that point, I literally had to run all the way back through all that shit again to get over here to where I could fight Marchenko. And, well, basically, just running through that shit, I lost enough health that the fight was not going to work. Uh, but I did manage to find two security things while I was trying to accomplish all this, so. We are gonna... Oh, if I can... If I can... Oh, it holstered my gun. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yes. What are our hands so right now, I'm going to go this way first. This is the first security thing I want to get. Basically, this one up here will let me get the flying turrets that he has under control right now. So I want to get those first. After I get those, then I'm going to go and get the other one. This super snaky. Running out of place to hide. And actually, just in case it fucks up, let me save it because it created a save file that it basically auto saved after I went through that stupid door. And multi tool as well. Let me put that on. Chenko's actually up on this floor. I really hope he doesn't wander this way. Oh, he is. God, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just walk on past, big guy. So now all the turrets, well, except for that one, that one is. Now these will go hunt down Marchenko for me. But I need to go get the robots too. Now this part does kind of suck. Um, well, not this part that's upcoming, but I figured if I did those first, then I'd be able to get the robots and those. But it seems like once I turn those, the robots activate, because this is the one where you get the robots. Improving angle. You missed. Where's Marchenko? Yeah. 
Come on, dude. How many shots to the fucking face are you going to take? Oh, you know what? I wasn't hitting you with that good armor piercing ammo. Robot, distract him for me. There is so much more to this! You can't win this! Bro, come on. That's at least three armor piercing sniper rounds to the fucking face. Come on. That one missed. Is one robot down? Nope, both robots are down. Oh no, wait! I think the robots took them down! Nice. McCready. It's over. New game plus, hooray! Yeah, because stuff didn't kill us fast enough on the difficulty we just played on. Definitely need to hire one. Santo CEO Nathaniel Brown took to the stage today to praise Interpol and Tarvis Security Services for thwarting what could have been a major terror attack during his safe harbor convention last week. Interpol has confirmed that a group of radical terrorists linked to the Augmented Rights Coalition wired the residential towers surrounding Apex Center with enough explosives to destroy two city blocks. As shocking as that fact turns out to be, Brown had only this controversial opinion to give. should we allow a vocal minority to dictate our future. The Human Restoration Act is a perversion of all the United Nations it stands for. In time, I believe saner minds on the Security Council will prevail. Strong words from a man with an even stronger bank account. Let us see if his prediction proves true. This is Eliza Hey, are you even listening to this? Why? We won! From Pike. Did we? We completely disrupted their plan. Marchenko, the orchid, the bombs. We've been under too long, man. Time to come up for air. Take a breath. Janus messaged me last night, said Brown's been lobbying like a champ. He and the people you saved know the act isn't a solution. Pikus will talk around it as long as they can, but that thing is finished. Janus always seems to have the inside track. Except when it really matters. Miller, right? I'm sorry, Adam. I really did think he was working for the Illuminati. For a while, we both did. By the time I realized he was innocent. We can't change the past. We have to keep going. What are you thinking? How many more plans do they have in motion? How many more soldiers like Marchenko are waiting for the call? <laughs> Don't call him a soldier. He was a thug, man. Soldiers have a code of honor. Soldiers follow orders, too. He was prepared to obey his, no matter the consequences. Sounds like you're sorry he's dead. He made his choice, I made mine. Regardless, we want the men behind him. Behind the Human Restoration Act. The ones still out there in the shadows. It's time for me to start pulling them into the light. Well, now we got names. Manderley and Page. The Collective won't stop until we bring these guys down. Yeah? Well, there's one more name I want to put a face to. Janus. So that's what you've been chewing on. Look, I'll try, Adam, but I already told you he doesn't like meetings that aren't on his terms. Then give him a choice. Either he sets up a meeting face to face, or I find him myself. 
I think it's high time we met the man behind the mask, Alex. Don't you? Criminals may have achieved the impossible in Prague last week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. According to rumors circulating the internet, Czech state police were called to investigate at the Palisade Property Bank after bank security guards exchanged heavy gunfire with an augmented assailant. It is not known at this time what fault the assailant was after, or if, in fact, he successfully broke in. Palisade Bank Corporation owners released a statement earlier this evening claiming that any rumors of a break-in at our highly secured facility are just that. Rumors. Between you and me, folks, I think they doth protest too much. A coroner's report released in Prague today offers shocking new insight into the death of Dr. Talis Rucker, former leader of the Augmented Rights Coalition. Yo, this chick is fucking weird looking. It's like she has no neck and her hair looks retarded. found in his system. No other toxins were present, nor were there signs of any suspicious activity. Sources close to Rucker tell me he had been struggling with alcoholism ever since becoming a public figure. I am sure I do not need to remind you folks that the organization he founded, the Augmented Rights Coalition, has been linked to last week's horrifying terror attack in London. It seems not so long ago that Dr. Talis Rucker was on this very program, trying to convince all of us that his Augmented Rights Coalition was a non-violent organization. Today, of course, we are all a little bit wiser. It did not take long for ARC to reveal its true colors once Dr. Rucker was dead. Since last week's attack, the United Nations has officially labeled ARC a terrorist organization. As we speak, brave state police officers in the Czech Republic are raiding ARC-controlled compounds inside the Udalek complex. We can only imagine what instruments of terror they will find. The Diwali criminal organization is under intense scrutiny this evening for their role in the London attack. Evidence uncovered by Interpol indicates that high-ranking members of the chapter in Prague supplied weapons and logistical support to ARC terrorists. Among those being sought for questioning is Radic Nikolatze, leader of the Diwali's Prague chapter. Sources close to the man tell me, however, that Nikolatze has gone off the grid, and it is unlikely he will ever be found. An indication of guilt, perhaps? Join the online discussion and let us know what you think. I want to find that news anchor and fucking kill her. Oh, she looks so stupid, and she's such a biased little whore. Like, you can't be a, like... Oh, as I don't need to remind you, as you already know, blah blah, like, no, shut up. Anyway, though, that is it. <sighs> Mankind divided. Knocked the fuck out. So, pretty good. I do gotta say, I wish it were a bit longer. I mean, for, for an RPG with as much, like, I mean, given, I didn't really, I know I skipped side quests. I know I skipped a lot of side quests. I did a couple. But, like, with the level up system and, you know, the, the multifaceted approach being able to, you know, non lethal, nobody see you, or full stealth, or whatever the case is, I feel like the actual game itself was kind of short. Like, this is, this is episode 27? I mean, shit. I've had, you know, DLCs that were longer than this. So that kind of sucks. But it was fun. There we go. Knew there'd be something else after the credits. That is not the point. We should have all been informed. That is why we are here now. Volkart. What's done is done. The broad strokes of the operation were very clear and haven't changed. There are always adjustments that will occur in the field. You should know that. Adjustments? Those were not mere adjustments. Interpol was more capable than we anticipated. They have a new augmented agent by the name of... Adam Jensen. Who we believe may have had external help. Possibly by the Juggernaut Collective or even Janus directly. We're looking into it, but we... All that is speculation at this point. A 
Let's find out more and reconvene later this week. Thank you, everyone. That'll be all. It's your own fault. I'm aware of that, Doctor. Elizabeth sends her regards. This bitch. Report. Overall, the subject seems quite well adjusted despite the massive traumas he's experienced. And his memories are still consistent with the program. He is remarkably stable. Excellent. How close is he to contact with Janus? Very. And it's only a matter of time. Yo. That's a cool plot twist. I was like, what? <laughs> what? The psychology bitch with the good booty? She was betraying me all along? And what does Janus have to do with it? Like, the, Janus is clearly in on the Illuminati, but... Well, not in on him, but they know something about him, or... I don't know. But I do know this game is supposed to be... If I remember reading the stuff on the... The wiki, I, I read some stuff for the game, and I think... If memory serves correct, um... I think this game is supposed to be like a prelude to the last game or something. I don't know. I'll have to go. I'll have to go look some things up and uh, and read up on some lore. I mean, for all I know, they might have already revealed like who Janice was in one of the other games that I just did not play. Uh, but either way, guys, we are. <laughs> that's a funny picture. Uh, we are gonna wrap things up here for now. Hope you enjoyed. Mankind Divided. Like I said, overall a really good game. I just wish it was a little bit longer, but I mean, at the same time, I guess that's what you got uh, New Game Plus for and whatnot, so. Up next, of course, we still have Attack on Titan, and we're going to have plenty of Legion content coming for you guys, and then uh, time permitting, of course, we'll be tackling both uh, Bioshock 1 and 2 in September. Emphasis on time permitting on that one, but Either way, thanks for coming by, guys. Hope you enjoyed the game as always, and we will catch you with our next walkthrough.